This is the most important bag that I have in my whole entire house for the Frenchies. Hi everybody, so today I'm gonna show you guys what is in my Frenchie first aid kit that I travel with. I do have several more items at home, but this is the one that I travel with. So to me, these are the essentials. A couple of disclaimers, I am not a vet. I'm just a Frenchie owner, breeder. I've had them and shown them for over 20 years in AKC dog shows. So this is just what has worked for me. And also please talk to your vet before you put together your first aid kit, because some of these items may be more Frenchie specific or your dog may need something else. I'm not gonna mention any prescription drugs in this video, so if your dog is taking anything that you need to have an emergency supply of please talk to your vet also see if they are comfortable with giving you a prescription for anything that you might need to have at hand during an emergency stick around till the end of this video so you can see a list of everything that i show here and i will also have them all linked for you if you guys want to know more about french bulldogs don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video if it was helpful for you and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this type of content are you going to show everybody what's in there there's a ton of things here. So this is one of the weirdest items that I have in my Frenchie first aid kit. This is lemon juice concentrate. Once you open, I do have, I don't think that you have to refrigerate. This one is not open. Um, this is a good thing to squirt in their mouths if they are panting a lot and they have that white foamy phlegm and they can't clear their airways. I've also gotten lime juice in the past. Thankfully, this is something that I really never have to use, but I know a lot of people that don't travel with their French Bulldog or English Bulldog or any brachycephalic dog without this, so I think it's a great idea. Next, we have some tick removal tools, also a tick ID card because it does come into play if you remove a tick from your dog your vet might need to know which tick exactly was attached for treatment i have a couple of different little tools and this actually is super important i know it might sound silly ticks are super hard to remove properly you really can't leave any little parts behind and it's very easy to just leave half of the tick if you just pluck it out these help you remove them safely oh that no tick parts are left behind. Next, we got some vet wrap, some waterproof tape, antibacterial gauze pads, alcohol prep pads, oral syringe, bandage scissors. So this is the wound care portion, of course. We have the gauze pad. We have vet wraps that you can find at pet stores or Amazon. Alcohol prep pads, some tape and scissors. Benadryl gel, if you have an insect bite that you can see exactly where it was, it can help with swelling and discomfort. This is a fast acting gel that helps stop bleeding. It numbs pain, it disinfects. It's great for the, that very first care. It's great for broken nails. This is one of my top products for sure. Next, we have my mini Frenchie pharmacy. There are some prescription drugs in here so i'm not going to be telling you guys which one is exactly but the main thing in here is benadryl i would never leave the house without benadryl especially in the spring summer when there's more bugs around many types of bug bites will cause severe allergic reactions their faces get swollen it is very scary just make sure that you've checked the dosage and check with your vet if that is the drug of their choice and before you head to the vet you can do that i have had to use benadryl many times in over 20 years having french bulldogs that really has made all the difference in getting to the vet safely again this is used for severe allergic reactions this is not used for like chronic allergies itchiness nothing like that this is for when i'm on my way to the vet but i want to do that very first step of first aid i also have in here anti-diarrhea meds pain meds motion sickness meds it really will depend on your dog and his needs going back to wound care i have a generic triple antibiotic ointment an emergency fast acting powerful probiotic for intense GI upsets. But this guy right here, I don't even wait for them to have any kind of digestive issues. It's a digestive aid and it's basically powder pumpkin and apple pectin. This is really great stuff. A little goes a long way and all my Frenchies are on pumpkin the minute that we go anywhere on a trip. You can just sprinkle over their food or you can mix it with warm water. It's really, it depends on what your dog likes. I don't always use pill pockets, but these are great for trips because they are individually wrapped. 
and one of them really you can use it for three or four pills it really depends on the size and how picky your dog is and they love this stuff and i can travel with just one or two and i'm good to go instead of bringing a whole bag and let's face it it gets gross towards the end so these are my favorites not really a first aid item but hoop bags you can never have enough and honestly i've used them to put ice inside to make a little makeshift ice pack so really just a good thing to have eye drops to hydrate and cleanse that eye if any injury happens this is what i do first before i run to the vet you don't want to wait when it comes to eye injuries you really need to run to your vet don't wait just go but this is what i use at home if i see anything weird a dedicated dog thermometer and by the way this is the normal dog temperature range please label your dog thermometer please I have used this natural skin treatment for years. You can see it's well loved. Um, this is great for hot spots and also puppy acne. I love that it's so natural, so I'm okay with putting that on their face. Another hot spot and wound care ointment. This one's got antimicrobial properties. It's a really good one. This one is more like a travel necessity than a first aid item. This is pet puri for any toots or stinkies. It really works and it's wonderful. You can also spray this on fabric. This is my current favorite ear care product. This is what I do once a week for their ear care. Everybody gets their ears clean with this. And usually I don't need it during a trip, but I like to have it just in case they start getting itchy or their ears start bothering them. Let me know if you guys want a dedicated ear cleaning video. I'm sure that a lot of people are not cleaning their dog's ears properly. So this is my first aid kit. I travel with much more, especially when it comes to keeping the Frenchies cool. So here's a list of everything thing that you can screenshot or you can go to the link in the description if this was helpful make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time